Here on the AMRC stand at Mac 2024, they're untangling the digital thread, but what is it and what are its benefits for industry? Ben, um, thank you so much for, for talking to us today. Um, we're going to talk, I'm going to ask you a little bit about the digital thread, but first of all, who is AMRC? Okay, well, great to be here, first of all. Um, AMRC are the full name, Advanced Manufacturing Research Center, based up in Sheffield, but also in Preston and Salmsbury, um, part of the high value manufacturing catapult. Uh, and we are in place to, to translate research uh, in an applied manner into industry to make UK manufacturing more competitive. Absolutely, and you're applying it today, and you know, hopefully people from our industry can see how, how to apply these brand new technologies. This concept of digital thread, though, is quite misunderstood, as you maybe you said to me earlier, um, even though it's quite a well-known phrase. Yeah. What is the digital thread? So it's um, essentially linking from the concept stage and the design stage right through to end of life of a product. So it's the interoperability linking right through the product life cycle across those different systems and ensuring you've got interoperability and integration across those systems. It allows uh, manufacturers to bring products to market more quickly, more efficiently, and manage things like cost and carbon emissions, etc. Absolutely. So nowadays, there's a lot, a lot of manufacturing process, with lots of different technologies that go into making your product. And what is, how is the AMRC best place to be showing this kind of concept? You need to have access to a lot of different manufacturing technologies, I guess, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. So we've got a good track record of translating uh, research into application and lots of good examples across uh, across the country with that. Um, but we've also got a breadth of technology, right from design, composite, casting, additive, subtractive, assembly. So we're really bringing all those through together, underpinned by the digital thread, using digital thread as a test bed to really uh, de-risk that for industry. Marcus, how have you shown the concept of the digital thread with this UAV? So this UAV is here to demonstrate how the digital thread is a real interlinked series of events and data processing uh, for complex systems that require a high level of uh, validation uh, and uh, development to get to a finished product quicker and more sustainably. Yeah, absolutely. When a new product gets developed, I guess you need to do design and then there's a lot of testing and prototyping. Normally those things are quite separated. How have you managed to bring those together with something like the digital thread? Yeah, we're using uh, the digital thread. So for this one, we've chosen the Siemens stack software. So it can take the CAD models, we can use data from physical testing and feed that into simulation uh, models. So we really are getting a hardware in the loop, very quick, and cheap feedback before developing the full design and prototype. And how do you make sure that that testing is cheap? Because normally that is, can be quite expensive, can't it, to develop a whole product, test it, find out it's not right, version two, then costs even more and even more for version three. How do you make that process a lot cheaper? Well, this is really keeping all the data in one place. So we're all just pulling off one source, single source of truth, one model. Uh, so every group or every subcontractor or anyone involved in the development and manufacturing process can provide their feedback quickly, efficiently, uh, and there's no ambiguity or realization that some requirements have changed and other people haven't realized. Perfect, so it improves communication between, I guess, different breaks in departments or breaks in uh, subcontractors and contractors as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's, it's uh, integrating systems that at the moment might be uh, separate and don't interact very well so it's breaking down those barriers and making the data uh, processing more fluid uh, and the flow goes both ways in, and beyond just the development process, but also into the final product. It could go through uh, throughout its lifestyle uh, and at the end of life, that data can feed back into how you get a more sustainable uh, approach to what you deal with that product. Absolutely. And do you think more products are getting, as products are getting more complicated, technology gets more complicated, we're going to need to see um, standard engineering companies start to adopt these practices? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think the supply chain for major OEMs uh, will really benefit from this. Uh, I think it'll uh, streamline the way they communicate, reduce time scales and costs, uh, and just make it easier to do business and manufacture devices. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm, you, there's so many subcontract, subcontractors that still receive just a step file and an email. Um, I, that is kind of like the facts of nowadays, I guess. Instead, soon will they be receiving um, 
more feature-rich uh, models with, with, with tolerancing information, with manufacturing information. That means that actually they know what the designers are intending. Indeed, and, and they could provide their feedback. So if they find someone can't quite be manufactured as a designer intent, uh, then they can feed that through the system. So they could gain access either through a cloud or through a remote access to a single source within uh, the main company's uh, organization. Rob is an industrial partner for AMRC. You've helped design this UAV. You're also helping solve problems in, uh, in actual industry with the digital thread as well. Yeah, the, the, the digital thread is, is a way of, I guess, surfacing data that previously would have been hidden in the factory. Often suppliers don't know where to start with the digitalization journey. Uh, and, and what benefits they might get as a result of embarking on that journey. What we're trying to do with the AMRC is enable them to show industry a way of approaching this, a way of bringing out the data sets, perhaps looking to solve some of the business challenges in lead time, in cost reduction, and really address the, the skills gap associated with deploying such technologies. And what we want to do longer term with the AMRC is work with them and industry to reduce that skills gap, reduce the focus on the technology we're using and actually bring it through and back to the innovation around, that, around the product uh, and really allow those ideas to surface rather than reinventing the wheel every time. And, and this is the unique part about the AMRC. What, what they've done is acknowledge and, and recognize that that digital architecture, it needs to be uh, it needs to underpin that activity and not be part of the activity. So you're not starting again every time, you develop over you know, the period of this project the skills to deal with the digital thread so it almost become commoditized. And that data flow and the package associated with the product is a key part of this. It, it enables every step of the supply chain to understand what's required from that production process, but also what needs to be captured on that, of that production process and ultimately, what you want to, to come out at the end of that process with is a digital passport. Digital passport to enable the product to be maintained, redesigned, and ultimately the performance improved. Okay, and what are the knock-on effects do you think if you see this adopted in an industry? So what, what this enables is the, the, the resolution of some of those bigger business challenges. So the, the reduction of, of lead times, the, the, the kind of aspiration in aerospace and defense to to, to manufacture at a fraction of the cost. Only by looking at the whole digital thread, the business as an enterprise, and, and linking those data sets together, can you start to address those challenges.